I'm hoping when I walk down the aisle that I see a massive brick house of a man. It's got to be tall. Thick, luscious beard. I'm not going to settle for anything less than perfect. You look amazing. Thanks. I want a man that's towering over me, like massive, like a brick house. Compared to a house, maybe he's a shed. But there's no patches in his beard, so I'm not going to knock his beard. What's your name? Whitney. Duca. Duca? Yeah. OK. She's an attractive girl. She's looking really good. Well, now we get to the important part, where we exchange the rings. Duca, will you please take the ring for Whitney and place it on the fourth finger of her left hand? This is like the worst thing I've ever done in my fucking life. We got this. Have we? Yes, we do. <laughs> With this ring, I wed you. With this ring, I wed you. My love and Doesn't respect want to go on, I look. give to you. Say that again. My love and respect I give to my you. My love and respect I give to you. That's nice. Please wear it as a symbol of my love for you. Please wear it as a symbol of my love to you. You don't know me. It's a weird thing to say, isn't it? Just go along with it, girl. It's all right. Okay, it's all right. It's cool. Go along with it. Fine. OK, go on. He's, like, staring me, like, intensely in my eyes, like you're fucking the love of his life. Go on. Whitney, it's your turn. Oh, God. My love and respect I give to you. Oh, my love and respect I give to you. It just doesn't feel right. It's, but, okay. it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. I came here with a mind to feel great, but Whitney's approach was not on the same level as Duca's approach. I just feel bad for my son. Please wear it as a symbol of my love for you. Please wear it as my symbol of my love for you. Yeah. yeah. So it's my great pleasure to introduce Duca and Whitney. And Duca, you may kiss your bride. Yeah. That was nice. I can tell already that Whitney has got a couple of walls up, but for me, I'm going to carry on being true to myself. I'm sure I'll win her round. Wow. Oh my God, you're not a fucking Gemini, are you? Yes, I am. That explains quite a lot. What does it explain? You're like a showman. All right, so I'm from former Yugoslavia. When I moved to England, I moved here at the age of 10. I couldn't speak English. And because I get bullied quite a lot. So growing up, I thought that communication is very important. But what must it actually take to break down those walls? This possibly could be a challenge that I may not be able to overcome. It's weird. The thing is, I can tell that you have like a good soul and a good heart and clearly you have a good family. Mm -hmm. One thing that we can definitely vibe on is the fact that we're like family orientated. My family is like my heart. You mentioned that your mom could not be here today. Um, I thought that you were sharing a genuine part of your heart and your soul. When you honestly said that, I genuinely wanted to hug you and then I like empathise with you so much that literally was like, Oh, man, she's a very strong woman because I haven't been through that. Mm. I can't see what it's like. It's just shit. I just didn't expect her to go to work one day and, like, not come home. Like, it's a mind fuck. You don't want to, like, let other people in because... I don't know, I think it's, like, my brain's a little bit, like, maybe they'll go to work one day and they won't come home. Whitney seems to have a fear of loss and it really shows why she is the way that she is and the reason why she's got so many walls and boundaries. It's almost as if the penny dropped and explained all of her behaviours throughout the day. <laughs>